So when I think about the, the ethics of writing fiction, and particularly historical fiction, and particularly when you're writing about painful subjects, for instance, the Tulsa race riot, which I've written a novel about, um, the, the Great Depression, the homeless and the dispossessed during the Great Depression. I think for me there's, uh, there's a necessity to be as true as possible to the historical record as much as we can find out the truth of what really happened. And then, and then you imagine human beings, you imagine characters inside that story. So they're, they're made up and so I don't have to be faithful to an individual that way, but I feel that I do need to be faithful to the era and to the truth uh, of that era. For instance, uh, when I was working on the novel about the, the race riot, when I look, when I do the historical research, I, un I see that the language of the era is language that we, uh, I'm talking about the language of racism that was endemic in the broader culture that we don't use anymore. But it had to go in the novel, which makes it uh, difficult and, r and a real challenge. It makes it difficult for me as a writer and it makes it difficult for contemporary readers. But that's part of the truth of our past that I feel that as a historical novelist, I, I, I owe. That is where my, the integrity um, lies for me. You're looking to, to write literature. You're, you're, you're looking to touch the, the hearts and the depths uh, uh, of the reader. Then, uh, then you have to tell the truth. And if it, all the great literature of mankind always has, sometimes with great humor, um, often with um, great pathos, uh, touched on those deeper, more painful truths of what it means to be human, which we've, we've always done some really bad things to each other. So when I think about the, the challenges of, of writing historical fiction, particularly about a place like Oklahoma, which is primarily my subject matter, has been so far, and, and the wounds in this place, and, and, the, and the true nature of our history, which includes you know, not just racism, but racial violence and, and um, ethnic cleansing, which is really the founding condition of this state, which is what happened when the tribes were removed here. And um, of course, we know the, the violence of the event we call the Tulsa race riot now. So we, but we don't want, we don't want to tell ourselves how hard all that was. And we don't want to. We don't want to think this about ourselves. And so, um, I, as I've talked about, that we tell ourselves half truths, and we tell ourselves we, we gloss over uh, the more painful truths about our past. So I think no, no. I think that 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 we we have to come to a reckoning as a people. We have to um, own those truths in order to be ever be able to move forward and to mature as a people spiritually, um, emotionally. Uh, economically, I mean, in, in so many ways, uh, and also that it not happen again, that the kinds of pains and, and wounds and violence of the past not erupt again, and which it, it can and will if, if it's not, um, not dealt with on a, on a, on a deep and truthful level.